वंस अगेन दिस इज क्लास फोर एंड वी आर कंटिन्यू रिवाइज चैप्टर टेन हाउ एनिमल सर्वाइव एंड नाउ आई एक्सप्लेन टॉपिक एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स इन दिस टॉपिक वी नो अबाउट द एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स हाउ दे एडोप्ट द इन्वायरमेंट हाउ डू अकॉर्डिंग टू इन्वायरमेंट एनिमल्स दैट लीव इन वॉटर आर कॉल्ड एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स एनिमल्स दैट लीव इन वॉटर दे आर नोन एज एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स दीज एनिमल्स हैव ए स्पेशल ऑर्गेन्स टू स्विम इन वॉटर फिश हैव फीस एंड टर्टल हैज पैडल लाइक फ्लीपर्स टू पुस वॉटर वाइल स्विमिंग डक हैव वेब फीट दैट वर्क लाइक पैडल्स fish and crabs have gills to breathe in air most aquatic animals breathe through gills except whales and dolphin in previous chapter we know about whales and dolphin they are actually mammals they give birth not lay eggs and except these all the aquatic animals breathe through their gills and due to this they always come out from the water and inhale after then go back in water they breathe through their lungs they are mammals and they breathe through their lungs now about the amphibians amphibians in the in pins keep the animal that live both on land and in water Animals that can live both on land and in water are called amphibians. They are called amphibians. Frogs, toads, asmelanders are common examples of amphibians. These animals have a strong back legs to jump while moving on land. They have a strong back limb. That's they. jump on the land they have webbed feet to swim in water frogs breathe through their lungs while they are on land in water they breathe through their moist skin clear do you know that is during hibernation an animal's heart beat slow down thus it's uses less energy a winter sleep a long winter sleep that is known as hibernation during this animals they their heart beat became slow down okay now about the arboreal animals arboreal animals means they spent most of their time on the trees land animals that spent most of their time on trees are called arboreal animal monkeys squirrels koalas and tree lizards are example of arboreal animals they have sharp claws and broad hip girdles to support their body while climb, climbing up and down the branches they usually have a strong muscular limbs and a little tail for holding on the on to the branches while swing when they jump from one branch to another they are also that is also known as fifth limb their tail they also used to hold the branches of the trees now about the aerial animals they spent most of their time in the air they are known as aerial animals animals that can fly and has spent a lot of time in air are called aerial animals birds like crows sparrows eagles are example of aerial animals almost all birds except flightless bird that like ostriches penguin they are flightless bird can fly some insect like dragon flies and butterflies can also fly bats are only mammals that can fly bats is the only mammal that can fly now birds have some special features 
that help them fly in air they have one pair of limbs modified as wings the shape of their body is such that they can easily cut through the air boot shape their bones are hollow to make their bodies light they have flight feathers that support them in flight in previous chapter in class 3 you read about all about the birds chapter 3 flightless feathers down feathers a flight feathers down feathers and body feathers so they have flight feathers that support them in flight during freezing winter some flying some birds fly towards warmer countries in search of food and warmth this movement of birds from a colder to warmer place is called migration this is this movement of bird from colder to warmer place is called migration arctic train arctic tern is a migratory bird is that clear now about the knowledge check true false a cow is a terrestrial animal true polar bears are found in desert wrong fish have fins to swim in water true a monkey is an aerial animal that is wrong that is arboreal animal birds have hollow bones that help them to fly true okay now adaptation of for food we learn in next classes so please watch this video carefully and learn keywords from this chapter i hope you all understand this chapter okay that's good thank you very much have a good day